destroyed equipment of the armed forces of Ukraine. The remains of tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, BRDM, tractors, self-propelled artillery installations, and other means of combat support. Some samples of Ukrainian military equipment are hardly recognizable. Destroyed equipment is a serious problem faced by the military in Donbas. The conflict in eastern Ukraine has led to significant losses of equipment and weapons. Various species have been left on the battlefield, the result of direct fighting and shelling by the enemy. During intensive combat operations, equipment can be damaged or destroyed as a result of missile attacks, artillery fire or mining. Ukrainian militants may intentionally destroy equipment so that it does not fall into the hands of the enemy. In some cases, when Ukrainian troops are forced to leave their positions, they can subject their equipment to destruction so that the enemy does not take advantage of the captured equipment. The armed forces of Ukraine can also destroy equipment due to its technical malfunction or damage. During combat operations, it is subjected to intense wear and risk. The militants of Ukraine do not have sufficient resources for regular maintenance and repair of equipment. Russian paratroopers occupied a Ukrainian stronghold near the village of Guda Messerskaya in the Kiev region. The Russian military took away American Javelin anti-tank missile systems, Stinger anti-aircraft missile systems, and a number of other weapons supplied by Western countries to Ukraine. The weapons were handed over to the People's Militia of the Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics. Fellow servicemen, the armed forces of the Russian Federation are handing you captured weapons and T-tank grenade launchers to counter the enemy. Thanks to our comrades for the weapons provided. We will beat the enemy with his own weapon. Comrades tankers, take captured Ukrainian tanks at your disposal. Let the equipment help to liberate Lugansk. The Russian troops did not have to recapture the equipment from the Ukrainian nationalists. As the units approached, the militants of Ukraine abandoned their positions on these attack vehicles. Fellow gunners, take the enemy's guns. Count the amount of ammunition and prepare your weapons for the march. Take the captured combat vehicle and prepare for the march. Military personnel of the Russian Federation repair units during a special military operation carry out continuous work on the restoration and repair of military equipment and weapons. Repair points have been deployed in the field. Observe all the principles of disguise. Restoration work of any complexity is carried out due to the high qualification of repairmen as well as modern maintenance machines. Armament is being repaired, which can be put into operation in the shortest possible time. Russian military personnel perform their tasks in several shifts, which allows them to work around the clock. <laughs>